I need to address some concerns. Setting the record straight, I'm still committed to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, despite taking a break from Instagram. Yes, this has, you know, I have taken a break from Instagram. And I want all of you to know, despite what you've heard or what is circulating, I have not left the church. I am still a full temple recommend holder. I was at the temple on Wednesday and I was at church and sacrament today. So I want to set the record straight so that you all know that in this video, despite me taking a break from Instagram, less Wi-Fi, more Nephi is the way I'm looking at it. I have a perfect scripture in here that I would like to read. Um, in Helaman, I have a note that states, verse 12 of uh, chapter 5, And now, my son, remember remember that it is upon the rock upon of our righteous, uh, of our Redeemer, who is Christ, the Son of God, must build your foundation that we... That when the devil shall send forth his mighty winds, you shall shift in the, uh, um, or I, sorry, I have it paraphrased right here. So I'm just going to paraphrase this. It shall have no power over you to drag you down, but build which is a sure foundation, a foundation wherein if man built, they cannot fall. This is my feeling about why I'm taking a break on social media as far as Instagram is concerned. It's been over three weeks since I announced that I was taking a break. And I want you to all know I'm not going anywhere. I have over, oh my gosh, I can't even open my text. That's how many text messages I have in the last hour. Who can manage 36 texts in an hour? I can't. So it's just, let me take a break. If you have my cell phone number, please know there's a difference between um, feeling, wanting, and desire, and really having revelation. Because... This is a picture of me taken today at church with our elders. The last few weeks of me attending church has been amazing because I have gone without my phone. I have gone where it's like for once I can walk around without having a phone taking video and I can just focus on what I need to hear from who is speaking. And I need to share furthermore that, oopsie daisy, sorry, what did I do? Okay, stop sharing. Ha, ah, apologize. You know, Dennis moments. I need you to know that just because I'm not posting two or three times a day on Instagram, I haven't gone anywhere. I am still as strong and maybe even stronger in the gospel of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I'm not going anywhere. So what you have heard, I have heard from many of you saying, oh, are you, have you left the church? Are you leaving? Because I don't see you posting anymore. But I publicly announced on Instagram that I was taking a break. I needed to do less Wi-Fi and more Nephi. And yes, I have to be honest. There was a post that I did about three weeks ago, they were brutal comments from members. Brutal. And I can't imagine, you know, your, your comments of support have, have saved me. It was, I'm going to actually bring that up because I'll address, I'll address the black elephant in the room right now. Um, these were comments that I posted on a hundred and Fifth, uh, no, I'm sorry, 1,500 comments of support from all of you. Thank you. That really means a lot. Um, this post, I stated, it says, I had DMs. It says, Dennis, 
You twisted and warped sense of mine has caused many to die, burn in hell. Looks like you believe in a God who allows you to do whatever you want without consequence. It doesn't work that way. The LGBT community is a sin. Who allowed you to have a temple recommend? Shame on them. These are DMs. This was probably my crashing point and also what I shared earlier. That many DM, that many text messages on my personal iPhone on a Sunday? Like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. I can't read them. I can't open them. I am just focusing on scripture. Not what people think I need to hear or what people think that I need to read. I can't do it. There's only one Dennis. This doesn't even count for the hundreds of voicemails that I have on listen to. So I just want to set the record straight to let you know that I have not left the gospel. I am still on my YouTube channel. I posted that I have a Sunday message where I was sharing a beautiful testimony about the Come Follow Me scripture this week, which is actually starts tomorrow. Um, and my feelings that what I was saying about when reading about marriages between a man and a woman, that's all on my YouTube channel. So Instagram is separate from my YouTube channel. And I haven't gotten burnt out from YouTube. But right now, I didn't think my fast from Instagram was going to last this long. But I, I, when I went to the temple, I was so blessed on, I got to say, I haven't been to the temple in a while. And the reason why is it was the serpent saying, you're not worthy. You're, you don't fit into your temple pants anymore. You can't get those puppies on. And you have too much pride, Dennis, to ask to loan a pair from the temple. So I had Easter Sunday with the, the Varinis, sister and, and brother Varini and their family. And they used to be in the temple presidency. And they said, oh, we haven't seen you at the temple in a while. Is everything okay? And I says, well, there's several issues. And they're like, no excuse. <laughs> So last Sunday at church, I felt inspired to approach Sister Verini. They're both from Italy, literally right off the boat. No pun intended. Love them. They're amazing. Both from Italy. And they and I went up to Sister Verini and I said, I don't feel comfortable going to the temple because A, I don't feel worthy. It's not that I did anything wrong. B, I am nervous to ask to borrow a because we don't have a rental department in Hartford, Connecticut. I'm nervous to ask to borrow a pair of pants to wear. And she says, nonsense. We taking you Wednesday, 6 p.m. It's done. And my friend Karen in Cedar City had given me seven names, uh, five, five, six, yeah, seven. Seven names to do in August. And I have thousands to do myself, but I just felt inspired to go and, and to, to do this because she needs, she's a single sister. And so I did five initiatories back in Bountiful, Utah. And then I completed uh, one of her endowments for her males. And then I did another endowment. Um, and it wasn't until this past Wednesday that I completed it. And I was feeling really guilty because I was allowing for what happened down there, for that snake in that grass to make me feel that, no, you can't go to the temple. 
You don't fit in your pants. You can't ask for a pair. But to address this situation right here, this is unexcusable. And nobody should have to go through this. I posted this on April 15th. So it's been almost a month. And it's been three weeks that I felt I needed to announce publicly I was taking time off of Instagram to focus more on Nephi and less Wi-Fi. And I think, I don't know if I've addressed this these comments other than, but I am so grateful for the 1,500 comments of support from all of you on here. And you can go back and look at this. Somebody sent me a DM saying, you are the devil reincarnated. God made Adam and Eve. You know, it's like somebody in here also warns me and says, um, you are a false idol and should not be allowed in any temple or house of the Lord. That sounds like it's coming from a member. We need less judgment and more concern about ourselves and our salvation. I join this church to please God, not to please anybody else. To please him, that's it. So I am going to be adamant with the fact that I can't tell you when I'm going to post on Instagram again. But all these texts that I've gotten asking me if I've left the gospel. That's between me and my bishop and my stake president and ultimately God. I have not left. If anything, this has made me stronger in the gospel of Jesus Christ. It has made me that I'm able to enter a church without walking in, recording myself, sharing an inspirational message, or sharing what I've learned when I'm leaving. If anybody out there ever wants to be an influencer, think of the agony that you go through. It's like, it's, it's, you cannot explain the amount of pressure that it puts on you. I am 50 years old. I'll be 51 in August. And I feel like, you know, I need this gospel. I need the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I need these ordinances that we do in the temple, that we do... I need the sacrament every Sunday. I need the power of the priesthood that can exercise their authority to give me a priesthood blessing of comfort. I don't need anybody's approval. Because I have his, I have my stake president, I have my bishops. You know, never judge a book by its cover. I could be homeless right now. And you don't even know it. So assuming that you see, you know, beautiful fixtures or, you know, nice furniture. Did you ever think maybe it's an illusion? 
That's why we need to rely on the Spirit. And we need to develop a testimony in our Savior, not man. Because I am not perfect. We are, as it says in our Temple Recommend interviews, are you striving? Because I am not perfect. Oh my heavens, I just turned myself on. Are you striving to keep the commandments? President Nelson changed that back in October 2019 because I was sitting six rows back from the front row at General Conference when he announced that. And I texted my stake president and I says, my condolences, <laughs> because he had this whole list of questions I now had to add. And that's what I tell everybody when a bishop is called or a stake president's called. I'll say to their spouses, their wives, my condolences. But I only need their approval. I don't need any one of yours. And I just needed to... You have no idea how much stress it's been to be able to log on to Instagram and to read comments or to forget DM I'm checked out and could you blame me because of all of this could you blame me if people saying you shouldn't be allowed in the house of the Lord or um, stay away from our children stay away from our kids you need to repent for all the people that you have strayed from God. Jesus died for you. And Heavenly Father can remove your horrific, sinful attractions. Quote, and they quote 1 Corinthians 6, 9. Or this one that says rotten purgatory. Who are they to tell me to rot in purgatory? This is not going the way I expected it for this live tonight. I wanted to keep it more on what's in here. What is in my testimony? What brought me to the Savior? And I am sorry that I went on this. But, and all the missionaries who signed this. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm just having a breakdown on Instagram Live. And that's not the case. I think it's just... I am tired of what... Worrying about what other people pursue, assume or what other people think. Because the only opinion that matters is his. You know, I just... Sister Thorne, if anybody knows Sister Christian... Thorum, T-H-O-R-U-M. We served together in July of 2019. When I say served, I was her ward mission leader. And she bore her testimony right here just before she left. And this was on July 15th. And I left on July 19th to drive to Utah for four and a half months with pennies in my wallet because the spirit said, go and do devotionals. Go and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And she gave me her preach my gospel with all of her notes. And I think she's from Alabama because I used to text her mom because back then they had like flip phones or stuff. They didn't have the technology they have now. And she quoted something that I just opened to 
look at the promised blessings. And this is found in Helaman chapter 10, right there. That's her signature. She signed it and dated it right there. And this was on July 15, 2019. And then she put an arrow down right here. Number four, blessed art thou, Nephi, for those things which thou hast done, for I have, behold, how thou has with unforgiving, wavering, declared the word which I give it unto thee, unto the people, and thou hast not feared them and has not sought thine own life, but has sought my will and to keep the, my commandments. And it goes on to uh, verse five as well, but I will share with you that she highlighted this and she put a little note here. Notice thy blessings. I wish more of us, this is why I flooded Instagram for years with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because I felt I needed to continue to flood it. And it was 12 hours a day. And now that I... I said I was taking a break. I thought it was only going to be like three, four, five days at the most. I didn't know it was going to be three weeks. So that three-week period, um, you know, when I went to the temple on Wednesday, I still was asking God, when do I go back on Instagram? And I'm not getting an answer. So I am grateful for your support and for you not being one of these 36 people in the last hour that are texting me because they had a feeling or a desire or a prompting. Have you left the gospel? That screenshot was taken at 9.30 tonight. I think it or 927, it kind of cuts off a little bit at the top. But 927 tonight. So I need to thank you. And I would love to close with my testimony because, like I'll say it, I have not left this gospel, although I did cry a lot on here tonight. Wasn't a crier until I joined the church. My friend Hollywood, I love you. I just saw your comment, but here you are. So glad you're here. I am glad you're here too. If you don't know my friend Hollywood, um, I was her daughter's ward mission leader. And in March of 2019, I, call, I saw her daughter at state conference and I called her on a Sunday, her mom, and said, I wanna surprise your daughter and I wanna go home. And she goes, come to my house. I want it to be like, um, what does she say? Um, home Alone, where every kid is getting up in the morning and when we're going for her homecoming, and that's exactly what it was like. It was so beautiful. It was so precious. And I felt so normal there, although they did lose my luggage. <laughs> I know when Holly and her husband picked me up at the airport, I was like, oh my goodness. Like, anyway. Um, so yeah, Holly, those are some good memories. Hold on to those. I love you. I love your family. I love your children. And we've been through a lot. 
And they're one of my host families when I travel to Utah. Um, I stay with them a lot. And I also stay with another family in Sandy, Utah. So I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I, I love, I miss doing devotionals. I was talking to somebody about that today. But I can't manage doing, booking them. And I overbook Masail because I can't say no. So I need some help. And I'll start doing it. But I know God has a village out there for me. He's going to put it together. A bunch of volunteers that can help. My friend Jim says, my wife said, if you ever come to Mesa, Arizona, I was just there. Uh, we can put you up. You guys are awesome. Um, I was there a year ago, actually in Gilbert, Arizona, but I was at the Mesa Temple uh, just after it's uh, it was dedicated October and of a year before, two years ago, a year and a half ago. And then I was there in February of last year and I went to the Gilbert Temple and the Mesa Temple, and that was because um, I spoke in Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, yeah, it was Gilbert or it was another town, like a suburb of Gilbert. Loved it. I had the best street tacos. <laughs> and the bishop's wife says, I can't believe I'm going to take him to go have shrimp and lobster street tacos in Arizona. But they're amazing. And he's from Connecticut and they have lobster. Well, you know, our lobster, like, the, I guess the water got too warm, so they left Connecticut and moved north. So we don't have lobster in Connecticut anymore. It's only, like, in Maine or something. But they were delicious. So you guys are awesome. Um, I'm not reading. Oh, it was Santa. Oh, Arizona. Oh, you're so. Every, see, people know my schedule better than I know mine. You guys are awesome. So um, I'm just feeling inspired tonight to not read all the comments because the comments are what got me into this mess to begin with. I'm just gonna focus on more Nephi. And I know I'm known for going through all of your comments from my iPad and just reading them, but I just feel that I need to keep them right now at, um, well, I mean, my friend Ocean Breeze says, haters gonna be haters. That's so true. Um, I don't usually listen to this, but I'm grateful I did tonight. You are doing just fine. Um, my friend L-O-R-E says, throw all that away. You are more righteous than many. Those negative, sinful messages are not righteous. Thank you for this. So the way I look at it is if I'm meant to see a comment or DM, it's in God's hands. So as I close with my testimony, I want to close with member missionaries because it was member missionaries who invited me on their vacation and you'll see the date, July 19, 2017, who invited me on their vacation to Palmyra, New York, because they had a prompting. They invited an anti-member, myself. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I was an anti-member. And so never ignore those promptings. If you feel like inviting a friend to church or someone who hasn't been to church in a while or a ministering, if you have ministering assignments and you haven't reached out to somebody, send them a text. Let them know you're thinking about them because I can testify that means all, that means a lot because you have the stewardship and the keys if you're a ministering brother or a sister to do that. And I know you will be blessed beyond anything. 
And I say that as my testimony in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for tonight. I love you. And most importantly, so does in God. But I also want you to know, just bear with me while I take this downtime to focus more on Nephi, less on Wi-Fi. And I haven't gone anywhere. My feet, I still wear BYU stuff. It's a whole other story. And you guys are awesome. You're all amazing. I just saw a comment that says you're amazing. Well, I'm throwing that back at you times 10. Have an awesome, awesome week.